Welcome to Alien Theories. <laughs> Uh, case file 262. The Zan Zanfretta. You should have, you know, what we talk about, you should have been like, welcome to fucking HT when you're here, your family, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Shit, okay, restart that. Uh, hey, welcome to ATT when you're here, your family. I'm Brayden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. But I'm your cousin Andrew, eh? It's a me, <laughs> Zell. Yeah, oh, you shoot! Restart! <laughs> Restart! We gotta We're never going to finish the case up. file. Actually, hey! No, uh, you got to leave all Hey! That. What? You got to leave all that in. Hey! This has to be the normal opening. Hey! Welcome to ATT. When you're here, your family. It's a me, Brayden. It's a me, Zell. I'm Dan. <laughs> Dan's ashamed. <laughs> I can't come in after that shame. Yeah, you can. Uh, you come in no, right now. That's it. That's who are you? <laughs> huh? We're miss who are you? We're missing one more. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> it's all right. Oh. Dan's over here judging us drinking fucking fruitcakes. <laughs> got, yeah, no shit. Bottled fruitcake. <laughs> yeah, drinking. <laughs> drinking I got the, the whiskey sweats already. Fruitcakes. Fruit I'm not making a joke there. That, Dan, what are you drinking? Uh, it is fruit. Quake oh, and is the holiday it is the holiday say, flavor for on. Mountain Dew. Did you fruit legit say quake. fruit quake earlier when you told us pre show? No no no. Oh, it is cake. I said fruit cake flavored oh, okay. Mountain oh, Dew, yeah. but they call it but the, the name of the drink is fruit quake. Oh yeah. It's what they called it. You're well, a great name. Don't wanna, you don't want to upset it's it. Their, it's their holiday flavor. It's, it sounds right. awful. <laughs> I feel like it was right. named. Like it's going to give you a fucking cat. The sales aren't going to be that good in the south. That's all I'm saying. So any Mountain Dew can give you cat. <laughs> Nobody should drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> anyway, Dan drinks I, enough Mountain Dew for everybody. Well, uh, this is Case File 262. The Zen Freta. It's a fret uh, UFO incident. Uh, fret uh. incident. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey. Hey. Hey, forget about hey, it. Hey, I'm podcasting here. Yeah, yeah. Are we in New Jersey hey. or are we, are we in Italy? Where are we here? That's all we got. Where, where, yeah. where are the accents coming from? You might have to loop Dan in again. Forget, forget about look it. It's going well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, come on, Dan, crack another fruitcake. Join us. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. It's gonna be. Uh... Oh shit! It's Anfreda. All right, we're, we're going across hold the pond. We're going. I, we're going I, to I Italy, Italy for this case. Th hold on. This is the. You know, some people say this is one of. Oh, sorry. Some people say this is the most uh, well documented case of UFO in all of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> The guy has two black flags and he's toast. He's <laughs> over. <laughs> All right, we're get, Dan. Where, where's this case taking place? <laughs> well, I'm sure, I mentioned it. Uh, yeah, it does take place in <laughs> in the, the general vicinity of Genoa. This oh, city. Uh, I, so, Genova. Uh, if you could it's tell. Genova. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Genova. Genova. <laughs> yeah, you're not pronouncing it quite right, Dan. Listen, yeah, hey. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and apologize uh, because I'm going to absolutely butcher Don't apologize. every single Italian. Oh, yeah, hey, just, just grab yourself a little fucking gabagool and it'll just yeah. come out naturally. <laughs> hey. I got I got olive oil in my veins, buddy. Why don't you lather a couple uh, little marinara on that when you say it, all right? A little gravy, huh? <laughs> um, so, uh, like Braden mentioned, this is probably one of the most well documented cases, uh, UFO cases. Um, in Europe, um, and mostly thanks to one Italian journalist by the name of Reno Di Stefano, uh, who actually wrote a, a couple of articles, several articles about the encounter that we're going to go ahead and talk about. Um, and the case involves one um, Pierre Zanfretta, who was a uniformed security guard uh, who kind of had his patrol. Well, in okay, the, oh, like I said before, the, the way you're saying it, you're making him sound like fucking yeah. Paul Blart. This guy's not yeah. Paul Blatt, not the right? Planet, uh. it, well, not even, dude, okay, listen, you know who he worked for? He worked for the Institute of Vigilance. Yeah, put some respect okay. on his fucking that's, name, man. We're talking He's fucking Italian. Guard. We're talking Italiano shield here, boys. <laughs> yeah. All right? That's like the Justice League. The Institute of Vigilance? 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty a dope. really it's pretty cool. It's a. I, listen, we need to put all security companies. We're putting you on blast for your shitty names. All right, Paladin, get out of town. Yeah. Paladin, footprints, footprints, footprints. Footprint? <laughs> footprint? Stupid. All right, nah, we okay. need some. We need some better names. And listen. That's not even the name. And that's the English translation is better than our English security names. Come on. If you're a security guard, <laughs> you work for one of these shitty companies. Put a word in. Get on it. Yeah. Should be ashamed to carry that fucking flashlight and whistle. All right. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> was anyone surprised that they didn't call this case Italy's Roswell? I was a little. I think it's because it didn't have uh, as no recovered yet. crash. Oh, okay, no crash. Yeah, there's no, no crash. crash. Okay. Yeah, there's no crash. Was, I, I'm surprised lie. it wasn't like the Zen Freda fucking bird heist. <laughs> but I guess we'll get into that later. <laughs> I was thinking. Be the Casa Nostra bird heist. Yeah, there we go. That's what we should name it. Uh, so Shit. the story kind of begins around 11.30 p.m. on the night of December 6, 1978, where Zanfreda was on patrol uh, in Torriglia Village. Torriglia. 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 Listen, I was baptized in the Mediterranean Sea. I think it was Torriglia. Torriglia. Uh, but in all so seriousness, I've been watching White Lotus season two, so I'm, yeah. I'm Italian. I'm not in Sicily. Yeah, you I'm know what? Man. Like any Italians listening to that, your American accent is really going to put them off. I, yeah, I bet you on, say man. tortilla. Yeah. Right? You don't, you don't say tortilla? <laughs> no, I don't. Tortilla. Yeah. Sometimes I say <laughs> diarrhea. That's a joke. <laughs> like when you have diarrhea? Yeah, I say I got the diarrhea. That, that, would, that, that that's worse. fitting for what Sounds comes worse. from you. It's my Italian. I feel, Italian like, I feel like it's more often that you like don't have, like you do have diarrhea than you don't. I feel like you're I, in a constant agree. state of diarrhea. Fifty yeah. fifty. Really? <laughs> often you have to get up and like immediately get there now. Yeah. It gotta go. <laughs> hey, did you leave a? Did you also? Sorry, on a side note, people. We had some drinks before this episode, so this you had some drinks. Yeah, yeah, you're on the black flies, flies, bud. Yeah, but I feel like Zell left in a bathroom break on one of the podcasts because someone messaged me was like, I really enjoyed the break where I got to hear descriptions of the bathroom. I was like, <laughs> what? what? And that sounded like some of the, some sort of like break after we went for a beer break. We left it on or something. We didn't what episode was that? Yeah, it's not like you're taking your bike into the bathroom with you. <laughs> no, no, I've never done that. Mm. <laughs> All right, that sorry. Out, I guess. Let's hit, get back to it. Torgarilia. Uh, so, <laughs> so when <laughs> I won't do it, Dan. You can go. <laughs> you may continue, Dan. Yeah. I just, <laughs> really? I, I'm, I'm saying you can continue. It's got up to Brady, I guess. <laughs> um, so Pierre said that he actually, when he was on part of his patrol in this section around a uh, an area known as uh, Villa Casa Notra. He spotted what seemed to be some type of red oval-shaped object that he kind of estimated from from looking at it up in the air as about 10 meters, about 33 feet in diameter. So it was something that wasn't supposed to be there. Um, and you know things are about to get weird when he says that when he got closer to this Casa Notra, which is a large, like, manse the uh, structure, um, his car suddenly stopped, oh, what? and all of its electrical systems I've never heard that went out of I've order. I've never heard that before. That's fucking. Well, <laughs> I'm f like literally, if that happens to me now, you're like, well, I'm about to get probed. Where's but the, in yeah. the '70s, you had no idea when this stuff happened to you. You just had the, you were just like poor oh, bastards. This is, they wouldn't yeah, even. This is odd. They wouldn't even know to clench your cheeks. No, nope. that's it. They might even get out of their car to investigate what's going on. Oh, Big mistake. Don't bend over. <laughs> I mean, well, he had to do that because it was part of his job since he was near this uh, near this building. And he saw some lights coming out from the back in where would have been located the garden. And he thought these beams of light, as he described them, he thought these were actually flashlights of... Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.